Good morning, bullpups. Lightning and I are here to say hello. We have been missing you guys. I have enjoyed seeing all the Facebook posts um, that your families have been putting on so I can see what's going on with um, all of you. I'm here today to share with you how to use the Kansas State Library System. I have all of you in pre-K through sixth grade, and I believe um, some of my previous students, seventh, eighth, and ninth, you're probably in there as well too. I don't remember if I did it for the sophomores, but uh, Mrs. Euler can get you at it, or I can too, it doesn't matter. Just um, email me if I need to get you put in there. So what you're gonna do is use your whatever browser that you're using. I'm using Chrome. You'll go to kslc.org. You are going to put that six digit e-card number in. Your teachers have it. And like I said, if you need to, you can email me and I'll give it to you as well. Your birth date, all eight digits. So don't skip any of those leading zeros that need to be in there. You'll click on submit and it's going to take you into the Kansas State Library System. It'll have your name when your account expires. I did renew everyone in, uh, in March to make sure that your access to this stayed going. Um, I wanted to show you some sites that you could use for just kind of extended learning while you're at home. Explore Kids is a great site. This is gonna be more for our upper elementary. You can uh, learn about different things. So all you would do is click on it. It'll have a list of like, for example, biographies, all these different people that you could read more about. And this tends to be more for upper elementary. Um, so that will help some of you. The next site I wanna show you is uh, the Britannica School. This is a really good one that I like. You'll click on elementary and it has just a little kind of a little quiz at the top. You can answer questions, learn a little more about some things that are going on. Um, I always like the name, the image kind of thing because I yeah, tend to overanalyze and get it wrong. And down here at the bottom are some uh, different things that you can do. There are articles you can read. There's media, which means it's going to be pictures or some kind of a video. World Atlas, click on that and you can learn about different places all over the world. Biographies again, animals, of course, that's always very popular. And down here at the bottom, tour the USA, geography, explore, compare countries. So these are just some sites that you can explore. So for example, if I clicked on articles, and let's say I wanted to learn about some animal, and I want it to be an extinct animal, and let's talk about, we'll learn about the Allosaurus. So I could click there, and it's going to pull up an article. There's a picture, sometimes there's videos over here. Um, and then you can read it yourself or click this play button. Allosaurus was a fierce dinosaur that roamed Earth before this. And it will actually read well it for you. So that's Rex appeared. a pretty neat feature. And something new that had, they've just added to this site is the early learning for the pre-K through second grade fundamentals here. Um, so my lower elementary students can click here. You can read some nonfiction books. You can explore. Um, there's some games you can play. Create is where you can do some drawing. So that's a fun site that pre-K through six can use. The last one is a new one that they've just added because of the continuous learning. This is World Almanac Kids Elementary. I'm going to choose the bottom one just because it does say elementary. What's what? Lightning. Um, there's a video, a new video each day to learn about something. You've also got your featured topics. You can click a view all and then you have tons of different options here. So you can go into those and learn more about, for example, if I went into Famous Americans, I would click on a person that I wanted to know more about. And for example, we'll do Paul Revere. And then it's going to give you some facts about Paul Revere. So great way to kind of extend your learning while you're at home. All right, so that's three things that are gonna be uh, beneficial to you while you're at home um, to look at. All right, so we'll go to this digital book. The first thing I wanna point out, RB Digital Audiobooks. This is a separate registration. It's a little different from the other three. You'll need to register first, pick a username, put a password in, they'll send you an email and then you'll be able to start getting those audiobooks. So before anything, you'll want to 
do that um, if you want to use those audiobooks. You might want to look at it first, and I'll show you where to do that. So you'll go to Digital Book eLending. And from here, you have a, quite a few different options. There's a video if parents need to watch. You've got your new user page, your instructions and device pages. So check up here at the top before you get going too far. You'll scroll down to the bottom. Um, here again is that RB Digital. It's telling you that it does require a separate registration. So do that first. And we'll go into that one. I am already registered. I use this quite a bit because I tend to I'm on the road a lot. Our family is really busy. And so sometimes I don't get to always sit down and hold a book. It's easier for me to um, listen to one while I'm driving or getting ready in the mornings. Now, remember, this has adult books as well. So make sure you're making good choices and you're picking books that would be appropriate for uh, your reading level. Um, I'm going to scroll on down. Here's all the William Allen White books. I know some of you have been wanting to read those this year and haven't been able to get your hands on them. So here they are in audio form. Um, here are some that are books that they've made into movies. You've got Peter Pan, The Call of the Wild, I know is a popular one for the older students. And you could just, The Anne of Green Gables, I just recently finished on Netflix, The Anne with an E, and that's based on that story. And some upcoming ones. And then down here at the bottom is going to be another good spot for you. You got your um, 2020 award winning kids books. White Bird is by the author of Wonder. We've got a couple of picture books here. So you would just click the arrows and it'll take you through um, the different options. And to get them, you would just click on the book. Of course, this one's already checked out, so I would have to tell it that I want to hold it, but usually it'll say borrow um, and then you'll be able to check it out right away. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few more. So that was RB Digital. Those are just audiobooks. Register separately and then you'll be able to get going on that. Here are the other three options. These are more of the ebooks or digital books. So Cloud Library is one of my favorite. They have a lot of the bestsellers, um, lots of good options here. You will, let me move this down a little bit, have to log in. So you'll log in with that library number. And your password is your date of birth, just like before. So all of that stays the same and keep in mind these, like I said, there are some adult books on here too. You've got your new editions at the top and that's going to kind of be a mix of everything. So for example, Smell My Foot, this is one of our new ones this year. I could click on that and yeah, this is the bad part. These are very popular. So again, I'm going to have to place a hold. It says 28 days, but it may by chance come in a little faster. You just have to give it a try. Here's your William, William Allen White books. Again, they're going to be those ebooks or digital books. You've got your award winners. Some of these are more for adults. Um, down towards the bottom, um, here are some of the best ones for 2019. 2019 notable books. The No Small Potatoes is a good one. Um, and then down here, you have your new edition. So if you're wanting a new series, you've got your Dragon Masters. But if you'll just click the arrow, it'll take you over. Um, to more options. Nerdy Birdies are a really good one. So all you have to do here is click on the book. And hopefully this is one that's have this one here as a hold too. So let's try. I know there was one, this one here. Cyril and Pat, I believe. Okay. So typically if it's available, you'll just click borrow. It downloads it to your device and then you're good to go. So you do want to have the apps loaded before um, you try to download the books. I have the app on my computer, on my iPad, on my phone, so I can watch it from, or read it from any device that I want. The Inky Library, um, this one's okay. If you're into the older books or classics, um, this is a decent site. Again, you'll enter your library number and your birth date, just like you do um, to get into the Kansas State Library. You'll go to Kids, and then they have um, some of the classics, Alice in Wonderland, there's Christmas Carol, and then you could just hit the arrows and it scrolls you through. There's some great ones on um, just good social skills that we all need to brush up on sometimes. And the last one um, to check out from is Freeding. The wonderful thing about this one, for one, they've added a lot of um, great books, but they've also, and this one here, there's no holds. You can, these books are available at all, at all times. 
So you'll click log in, you'll do the same thing. Lightning is ready to run today. And it's best probably to go to categories so you can stick with books that are appropriate for you. Um, juvenile fiction and juvenile nonfiction are what you want to click on. So here's some of the juvenile nonfiction and juvenile just means kids. So um, here you've got some of the Dan Gutman's Mummy's Myths and Mysteries, My Weird Reading Tips, um, lots of good options. Marley, I thought looked like a good one. Dolphins, Horses, but you can see these are all going to be nonfiction and just hit the back button and then let's look for there's juvenile fiction and there's also some great options here as well. I was surprised at the number of books that they have available that um, they've added in here that they didn't have before. So I know I saw um, Stay, which was one that a lot of my fifth graders were wanting. So we had several holds on that one. So anyway, there it is right there. Um, so all you do is click on the book. It'll download it directly to your device. Like I said, there's no holds. So you can get these at any time. So that's the Freeding site. Um, a couple other things I want to show you. You have access to BookFlix through our school. We have a subscription, but also through this, you can use it as well with your Kansas State Library card number. So you would just click on it. It's the site that has all the fictional stories, and then it matches it up with a nonfiction story, and there's some pretty cool games to play when click you get to the end. Category. So there's the different categories, on the feature to begin. and it always has a pair of books, a fiction and a nonfiction. You also have for my kiddos that are into those nonfiction. I know I had some boys um, reading about uh, different wars that our country has faced, and I've got um, some students that love reading about animals or cars and even um, biographies. So this is a great site for you to go to for that. Again, subjects, it's easiest, I think, to pick whatever it is you're looking for. Let's say I know we had some boys that were into um, the U.S. history, so I could click that. And this is one that popped up that I know several of my fifth grade boys might enjoy called Battlefields. Um, so anyway, it just lists them and you read them from your device as well. This isn't necessarily one that you would check out. Here's Jackie Robinson. Baseball players might like that one. You can read it online or you can read it where it download and you read it offline. These are just more of like digital books that you won't check out. You can just read um, and then you're done with it. And one last thing, because of this continuous learning, I've been super excited. This Tumble Book Library, this used to be a free service, then they made it to where you had to pay and it was rather expensive. But because of everything going on, trying to help families out, um, they have Tumble Books that you can read um, online free as well. So you would click on Tumble Books. They have, takes it just a second to load, um, tons and tons of different books, fiction, nonfiction for our younger students, Duck Rabbit is a super cute one, especially with Easter coming up. There's that Anne of Green Gables that went along with that um, Netflix series that I just watched. Um, Enemy Pie is a great one. So those are some, uh, some of those are picture books for the younger students. And here's our read-alongs. This is where it will show you the words that are in the book and highlight them as uh, someone reads them to you. So that's a good option for some of the younger ones as well. As you can see, there's excuse me, is chapter books, advanced readers, and ebooks. Everyone loves Kate D. Camillo, so there's some options there. Um, you would just click on the book and tell it that you want to read it online. It's not something that you can download. You have to read it from their site, and then, it, of course, chapter one, five pages, and you would just click through and read it directly from your device. I know it's not as good as having that book in hand because I'm one of those people that I want that. I want the book. Um, but this is one way that you can do that and um, still get some reading in. So um, that's one thing I don't want you guys to do is just stop reading. Um, it's important to kind of, to me, those kind of get my mind off of things sometimes. So books are always a really good idea. But as you can see, there's a lot of great options here as well. There's those Ivy and Bean. I know my second and third graders are reading on those. We have graphic novels and there are more nonfiction, there's videos for ESOL students, there's a playlist you can make so you can uh, keep track of what it is you are reading, and there's some great puzzles and games to go along with it. 
So let me get back out here. I know I ran through this really fast. I hope this helps you a little bit to know everything that's out there. And um, there's some great stuff for adults too. So if your parents are kind of sitting with you as you're going through picking out a book and they want their own uh, Kansas State Library card, just email me. My email is m underscore Maddox. It's M-A-T-T-O-X at Caney.com. And I just need their full name, middle initial, um, date of birth, and I can get them set up so they'll have their own card. And then what you would do is download these apps and it tells you um, how to do all of that here. Download the app to iPad, Kindle Fire, phone, whatever it is you're going to be using. And then as you sign in each time, it pulls up the books that you have checked out. And then like if, a, if your mom did the same thing, typed in her number, it's going to pull up the books that uh, she is reading. And it keeps track of where you end at. So no matter what device you're on, um, that will help you as well. Down here at the bottom, it gives you your lending limits and periods. So it tells you how long you can keep the books. And when I say keep them, of course it's downloaded or it's on your device and they just take it back. It's nothing you have to physically um, turn back in. If there's, if you can renew it, if you can put holds and early return and then how many you can get out at each time. So you can be reading, you know, a fiction book, a nonfiction book, a picture book. You've got lots of different options there. So um, one last thing that I wanted to show you that I forgot, skipped over, was, let me go back into this digital book e-lending. Sorry about that. Uh, Britannica e -sex. Oh, I think maybe, oh, no, I did that. Sorry, I did. <laughs> Losing my mind this morning. Um, that's the one that I showed you. The U.S. history has um, just tons of nonfiction books that you would just read as a digital book. So I think that's everything that I need to go over with you. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to email me, email your teacher. Um, like I said, if you have parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, um, reading is excellent to be doing right now while you're stuck at home. Um, they can just email me and I can get them set up with a Kansas State card number. And Lightning is ready to go have his breakfast. He's being a little wound up. So we're going to end our lesson. And I hope you guys have a great week.